Hey guys, we're back with another spooky ghost reaction video. This one is to the Depths of Despair's channel. The video this time is called 10 Scary Ghost Videos That Will Make You Call In Sick To Work. Let's hope the good ones. Hopefully there's some new stuff we haven't come across before. Um, if you wouldn't mind popping by Depths of Despair's channel, the link is in the description. We're very grateful for that. Drop them a sub, show them some support. And in the meantime, if you wouldn't mind hitting the the thumbs up the subscribe and ring the bell on my channel uh, you'll get alerts for any new content coming forward and in the meantime let's get the cans on and give this a watch shall we let's hope it's a good one the on september the 9th of 2024 a girl was living alone when something creepy happened Late one night, while recording a video of herself singing for her mum, she hears what sounds like knocking at the door and decides to record it. This is what she caught. Probably the neighbours tell that show. Yeah. Well, that's something that popped up above the door then. Is that a window above the door? As she approaches the door, a creepy dark hand can be seen through the glass panel above. But when I thought so was something. When she opens it and looks around the rooftop, there's no one there, but a piece of clothing suddenly rises up and then flies away. She explains that ever since she opened the door that one night, whatever this thing is began to visit her more frequently, and creepy things started happening. Whoa, 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 can we just go, what? What was that? Bloody invisible Superman? ...inside her house. Late one night while trying to sleep, she hears it once again. Watch closely. Mami, te grabo este video porque están tocando constantemente la puerta. Y están pasando cosas que no son normales. ¿Qué? Okay. All right. The creepy hand can be seen again, but just like before, as soon as she opens the door, there's nobody there. This time, when she goes back inside, something pulls on her bed sheets, and as she searches the room, she finds nothing. The very next night it happens again, but this time she decides to stand still and ignore the door to see if it goes away. There seemed to be some funny sort of rumbly moaning noises as well when she got the door. I didn't see any cuts or anything there. This is quite intriguing to be fair. The hand looked a bit glitchy in that second clip there, but um... I don't know, what do you guys think so far? An object can be seen sliding along the table on its own, as well as the creepy hand above the door. Creeped out by these frequent events, she decides to pack up and stay at her mother's house for the week. She has yet to return to her home, and I'm sure she's dreading it. <laughs> Yeah, pretty creepy. I mean, initially it could have just been because she was singing. Neighbours not happy, but that cape thing flying off was a bit sus. I don't know. Strange that one, like. It's... Like I said, it didn't seem to be any 
cuts in between or anything like that, especially in the bedroom part when she sort of panned around the room. It seemed quite legit, to be honest. What do you guys think? Security sensors. The following video was taken by a security camera on August the 8th of 2024. A man named Fernando works as a security guard who does the night shifts for a secure facility located somewhere in Chile. Late one night while on duty, he notices that something tripped the alarm system surrounding the perimeter and upon reviewing the CCTV footage, he was left freaked out. Watch closely. Ahí está. Se va acercando al cerco. Ahí está. Activó los sensores. Clarito, sí, y ahora atra atravesó el muro. Ahí va caminando allá. Salió el perímetro, calla. ¿Cómo que cambia de forma? De sí, mujer? cambia de forma. Vuelve el Something can be seen tripping the alarm system and jumping over the fence. It then seems to morph into a humanoid figure and continues to move. Now Fernando confirms that it isn't possible for it to be a bug on the lens or a drop of water as the camera is stationed above the alarm and something on the lens wouldn't trip the fence's alarm system. We can also see that it moves further away from the camera so it clearly doesn't appear to be on the lens. Fernando says it's not the first time strange things have happened around the facility and he believes he has captured some sort of shape-shifting entity on camera. Mm, possibly, or just a crap camera not focusing properly on someone interfering. Weird nonetheless, the fact that it set the sensor off and stuff, there's obviously something there. Strange. Not sure what to make of that one. The Possession. Possession. In the following video, a woman named Sarah from Colombia was just using the bathroom when all of a sudden she hears a blood curdling scream coming from next door and decides to start recording. She then sees a nun outside the door who told her that an exorcism was being performed inside. After a girl and her friends summoned two spirits using the Ouija board, and one of them started to throw up a strange black liquid substance that looked like dirt and began to attack her own friend. Really? At this point, the police was also called to bring a straitjacket and control the situation. This is what Sarah caught. Friday night around here. <laughs> what sounds like possessed screams can be heard coming from the woman next door and the whole neighborhood is outside just panicking as the police enter the building and try to contain the situation. The video has gained over 20 million views and although we don't get to see the possessed woman in question, we can hear some of the exorcism taking place 
and the reactions of the people do appear to be quite genuine. It seems like she summoned a demon through the Ouija board. But as always, let me know what you think. Don't play with Ouija's kids. Hard to tell what was actually going on in that one, to be honest. Good story. Hard to know how accurate it is, but intriguing nonetheless. Let's see if we get any updates on that one. The Prayer. I have featured Rosanna from France previously. Here we go again. Obviously, she is currently undergoing legal procedures after being tricked into buying a haunted house. And in the meantime, she has no choice but to stay there until it's all over. One day, she was testing out a video projector that she planned to give to her children, when all of a sudden she hears some creepy sounds emanating from within the fireplace and decides to pray. But the prayer only makes things worse. Watch closely. Yeah, in case you were unaware, um, in a quite a few of my videos, this lady's featured um, recently. Things seem to be escalating quite quickly and quite dramatically to the point where she actually saw an entity approaching from one of the corridors in the apartment or whatever. Very peculiar. Believable or not, I'm not entirely sure, but we'll, I've seen this clip in a previous video, but we'll, we'll give it a watch again, just to see. Let us know what you think. That table bit was the only bit that sort of got me the last time because it it seems quite a heavy table and you kind of manipulate that with strings or whatever so whatever made that flip would be quite impressive to fake to be honest <laughs> All sorts of crazy things start happening right after she tries to pray. She says that she began to feel struck with paralysis and her body started to burn. And it was so bad she had to cut the video short because it got too aggressive to show. Rosanna still has no idea as to what is causing all the activity inside the house. And without further answers, this one remains a mystery. Bear in mind, I think it's the one that started with a little rotting chair or a rotty horse or something in the kid's bedroom moving initially and it suddenly escalated and escalated to this point where it's just paralysed on the floor because of it. I don't know. Let us know if I'm wrong. On the porch. In the following video, a man who lives in a secluded area surrounded by the woods was out on the porch with his dog late one night, just sitting down, when out of nowhere something caught his dog Domino's attention, making the dog rush over to check it out. Strangely enough, the dog was dead silent as if in fear of what it had seen, and that's when he sees it too. Take a look. I don't know if you can see this. This is really weird. Domino, what is that? What the hell is it's that? Hey! Amazing. 
What looks like a big brown humanoid figure can be seen just walking on two feet silently along the edge of the woods. Not knowing what may be lurking out there he doesn't dare approach it and just watches from a distance. He then posted a follow up video on what he had seen. Hey everyone, so a few of you have asked me about an update regarding the video from the other night and the weird creature person thing I saw over here. Uh, me and my dog Domino were sitting on the porch and he ran out to the corner of the yard so he went to the edge of his fence barrier he's on a wireless fence and just stared i looked over and i saw it from behind that swing set out of the woods walked over behind that truck or to that truck and went behind it into the woods i don't know what it was it was brownish red in person we have a street light so i figured it'd pick up better apologize for the quality apparently zooming in at night will make any phones quality potato quality but I haven't seen it since, and um, hopefully I won't, but I still don't know if it was a person or a thing, whatever it was. It was big, and it was in my yard, and I don't like that. <laughs> Just who or what is this? Let me know if you have... Yeah, there was definitely something creeping around there. It could be anything, like, it might just be someone staggering back from a pub or something. What do you guys think? Have any video recommendations? You can send them over to depths of despair business at gmail.com or tag us on TikTok at depths of despair yt. The storm. Late one night on October the 7th of 2024, while working the evening shift in a smoke shop somewhere in Birmingham, UK, a woman named Jocelyn hears a strange noise coming from the back of the storm. She's working the night shift alone so nobody else is in the building. But when she looks at the security monitor, she sees something utterly terrifying. I think we might have seen oh this God, one as well, but it looks different. I hear fucking noise in the back. What the fuck, bro? Uh, yeah, I think we have seen it. I recognize this part of it. It's, it's stuff that happens sort of coming from off camera or out of view. There could quite easily be An somebody... An object can be seen moving on its own before someone or something quickly stuff. dashes across the back of the room. Jocelyn was so shaken up by what she had seen that she didn't attend work the next day. Instead, she asked her colleague who works the day shift to make a video showing the back area where we saw the figure and how it is impossible for someone to fit back there. Hi guys, this is Bernice. Um, Jocelyn didn't come this morning um, to work, but she wants me to sh um, give you a tour um, of the back of the back rooms and the storage. So come on, let's go. Well, this is over here is where the incident happened, which was kind of crazy because when, when they told me last night, I was like, what the fuck? And obviously people saw another person, but I didn't see no one. And I don't line. even know how a person can fit in here, you know? So, yeah, it's kind of weird. I think it will be possible After with a big climbing. After the back room room. cluttered with objects, it does seem like someone couldn't fit in there especially moving at that fast speed we saw. So just what is this? The very next night, Jocelyn finishes up her shift and closes the store down, ensuring that nobody is left inside. But around 3.51 a.m., the security cameras captured this. A ladder suddenly falls on its own and a pillow comes bouncing down the stairs at the same time. Creeped out by these events, she is now hesitant to work the late shifts alone. Just who or what did they see back there? It looks like the doors are open there as well and the fact that the cushion appeared from the top of the stairs as well. It might just be somebody fishing for hits on the shop or something I suppose, I don't know, what do you think?
Pro ghost or not, you judge. The Airbnb. Oh, we're gonna say just later. Just a few days ago, on October 15th of 2024, a man named Trent was staying at an Airbnb over at Skane Atlas Lake in New York. When late one night, he experiences something undeniably chilling. The owner of the Airbnb told him that his daughter died in a car accident and he placed her ashes on a piano in one of the rooms and ever so often guests will report experiencing creepy things in the house and that's exactly what happened with Trent. Okay, I usually do not or I never have b believed in like haunted stuff, okay? But I'm out at Skinny Atlas Lake, the Fingers Lake Lakes in upstate New York and the Airbnb I'm staying at the guy did say, just FYI, we do have people say that they hear a piano play at night. And I thought it was bullshit. And I swear to God, I've heard it. It plays. There's nobody f***ing in here. I'm going to walk over here. So in case I die, I have a documentation of it, okay? It's an old house. It's on a beautiful lake, though. But I did find out the daughter, the guy who owns the place, daughter died in a car wreck. And her ashes are on the piano. God, I get chills, but that's the piano and it plays at night and it freaks me out. I have chill bumps just being in this room. I do not get a good vibe, but it's scary as shit. Later that same night, they hear sounds coming from that very same room. It's at that moment, Trent pulls his phone out and starts to record. Watch closely. I'm f***ing telling you, this place is f***ing haunted. Do you heard that? Yeah, I can't. 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 I can't.
No sé, no sé la verdad, no sé la verdad qué decir. Okay. He hears a strange knocking sound that gets louder and closer before the door slams shut in front of his face. But as he inspected the room just seconds prior to this, he finds nobody there except for some creepy dolls in the room. Jonita has no idea what's causing the paranormal activity in his house. A mm, I don't know. It was a bit vague that one, like, but whatever. Just the door shut. Strange, but what do you guys think? Ritual. A woman named Lizzie was out randonauting with her friend when the coordinates took her to a strange place, and she hears something bizarre. Voices can be heard coming from within a building in the middle of nowhere. Lizzie and her friend believes that some sort of demonic ritual is being performed, and that's why the coordinates led them to this place. Could this be a real cult ritual taking place, or something else entirely? You be the judge. Right. Yeah, that was weird, that mind. It was hard to tell if it was live voices or just the recording or whatever but it, you would be pretty freaked out if you turned up somewhere and that was going on like regardless mad hanako son a few japanese girls were on their lunch break and decided to go to the bathroom when suddenly they hear a strange sound and begin to record <laughs> resembling a female student can be seen. They believe this was the spirit of Hanako-san, a young girl who lost her life inside a school toilet. Don't forget to check out the new... <laughs> Look at hell, man. That was class. <laughs> Look at the fucking ring or something. Mad. I enjoyed that. That was good stuff. Thank you very much. That's the despair. Appreciate it. Yeah, drop by the channel. There was a couple we'd seen before there, but it, it still makes for good viewing, to be honest. I do enjoy doing these. I'm going to try and pump out a few more in the build-up to Halloween, so hopefully you'll get some bonus videos this week. But in the meantime, ring the bell and sub to the channel for alerts for all that. And in the meantime, I shall catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.